Patrice Bergeron and the blistering Boston Bruins have arrived in New Jersey to take on the Devils. The Bruins have won 23 of their last 27, thanks in large part to the play of their 26-year-old center. Tonight, he takes us behind the scenes for NHL 36, Patrice Bergeron. An NHL season is 82 games long, spread out over roughly six months. That comes to approximately 183 days, or 4,390 hours. Put all together, they tell a story. Last June, Patrice Bergeron of the Boston Bruins scored the winning goal in the Stanley Cup final. On December 28th, his team played their 34th game of this season. The story of how Bergeron spent the 36 hours leading up to the final horn is next on NHL 36. For 26-year-old Patrice Bergeron, preparing for a hockey game is about routine. He stretches. He dresses. He walks out of the locker room. And he waits. All part of his routine. The Bruins he plays the game alongside are also familiar. Number 63, Brad Marchand, and number 19, Tyler Sagan. Since late October, they've formed a line together for the team, helping Boston return to the top of the Eastern Conference. A season after delivering the club's first Stanley Cup in four decades. That, of course, was all six months ago. And two days ago in Boston, when the Bruins set out on the trip to Phoenix, the Stanley Cup might have seemed an even more distant memory. Considering the undesirable way the current season began for Bergeron and his teammates. A 3-2 win for the Hurricanes tonight. And the Bruins now one and three out of the gates. We were still in the games, but we weren't playing our game. You know, it doesn't matter if you won the year before. Uh, you're not going to get to the playoffs just because, you know, you're the defending champ. And the Bruins have lost seven of the first ten games of the season. We're the defending champs, and last year when I was playing Chicago with that one last year, I wanted to beat them. You know, I was ready for that game, so I know all the teams are doing the same thing against us. So right now it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. We're in Boston, so we're actually on the way to the airport. Uh, to fly out to, uh, to Phoenix. Air travel is a constant of life as a hockey player, and with a five-hour flight in store, Bergeron and his teammates like to be well prepared. A little TV show or something? <laughs> what do you got? Movie? Oh, movies? Yeah, I got uh, five movies. Me and uh, Daniel Paye will always sit together. Um, we always watch movies or TV shows. Oh, I want to watch that, yeah. Watch that? Okay. When there's no movies to watch, we try to rent some uh, TV shows. You know, it's just a little hobby that we've been doing since uh, since we've been playing together. Okay, you want to start? Sure, man, let's do it. Let's get it going. We finished the, the first two seasons of Modern Family, and we just crushed it. The members of the Bruins family spend their time in the air in all different ways. And while his line mates play cards, Bergeron partners with Daniel Paye in their usual routine. Hey, my brother just texted me and just read online that I'm doing the show. He's like, what are you going to say for 36 hours? <laughs> Eventually, screening gives way to a restful break. And then the Phoenix skyline comes into view. With game 28 of the season approaching for the Bruins and their star forward. First run, he 
is the best defensive player at forward in the National Hockey League. One of our hardest working guys uh, every game, every night. He finds the power to get up the ice. Always seems to have a stick in the right place. Bergeron passes it off. The team heads straight from the airport to practice at the Coyotes Arena. But when Bergeron arrives, he encounters a suspicious problem. Like, honestly, right now, my equipment's not there. Oh, we get some pranks that go on once in a while. Some of them did it, too. So I was just walking around, and I was like asking everyone, asking the trainers where my bag was or where my bag go, and no one knew. I don't know if Bergie's one of the guys that really gets pranked. Where'd you put my bag? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is... Your bag? She's got two bags. What's up? Oh, someone did it for me. Andrew Ferris is like, your, your equipment's right here. Like, hey, it's already unpacked and hanging. I guess someone did it for me. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, right. But I don't prank anyone either, so that's probably why I don't get pranked. Beats! Thanks, bud. You went back? Perfect. Phoenix, NHL 36, the show for NBC Sports Network. Cameras are all over here. Are you self-conscious yet? Yeah, it's probably going to be a show about uh, six hours of me being doing something and then 30 hours of me <laughs> sleeping. So, uh, you know, it's going to be hard for them to get some footage. So, you want to talk? You want to talk? Uh, Usually you talk to me. No, not today. Oh, it sucks. No friends, man. Come sit with me. So someone. <laughs> If the cameras have sent some of Patrice Bergeron's teammates into retreat... Nice circle here, boys. I'm all alone here. A poorly placed piping system has threatened to put an early end to the one way he's gotten them to play along before practice starts. Oh, boy. If you're allowed to touch, the ball touches the ground, you're out until the last guy stands and uh, he wins the game. Be sharp. Be sharp, Hardy. You're sick, man. You're the best. For Bergeron, the team's alternate captain, practice is not just for staying sharp with a stick, but for helping to set a tone for every player in a Bruin jersey. Free fresh here. Probably one of our hardest working players in the team, and uh, being a young guy myself, I can really you know, notice that and you know look up to that. They're never far apart on the ice. 19, 63, and the line's senior and most vocal member... That's Chris Cross, eh? Number 37. I guess not. It's about leading by example. When it's time to step up and talk, uh, I'm trying to do that as well. Sick move, Marshy. Sick! Oh, sick, Joe. Nice bad sides. So I decided to involve you in the play. We'll be all right. Better today, boys, than tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be fine. After their slow start, the Bruins didn't appear fine. But then came most recently the six-game streak they've brought into Phoenix. Comes up with a puck, throws it right to the dot, fires and scores! Closes past the dot right in front, he scores! Highlights like these are born in arenas far from home where countless shots are taken, but more critically, teams come together. Road trips can be called the grind, but I think that's where really we have the most fun. I mean, when you're with the boys every day. You look, you look extra good today. I what? You look, good. Good. Like, you look like you got a cut. And I didn't get a haircut. I got it before uh, oh. Christmas. 637. On the road, we always go for dinner. Uh, most of the time, it's going to be a steakhouse. Here with a couple guys for their nice little meal. We got our, our little liney here, number 63. Brad Marchand. First star of the week. Dinner's on him today. Oh, yeah. 
It's official. <laughs> Dennis Seidenberg doesn't want to be on camera at all, but he came to dinner with four cameras, so <laughs> we got Daniel Paye, my buddy on the plane, watched, watched, watched so many movies together. And then we got a kid of the team here, number 19. Everyone wants a piece of him, Sal Sagan. <laughs> Me and Marsha always have to talk about him, how good he is, how great he is. Patrice Bergeron, <laughs> our leader, our captain. What? <laughs> captain. <laughs> You're with the boys every day of your your season, so you kind of almost miss them after a couple of days, and you're coming back and hugging the boys. And uh, uh, I think, you know, that's why road trips are great. A long day ends quietly, with some parting words in the hotel lobby, and then a silent walk down the hall to tonight's quarters. from dinner I was pretty tired it was a long trip you know six hours and then practice most often than not I'll just uh, watch TV and we're fans also you know we watch uh, the highlights and we, we, we keep track of what's been happening uh, you know throughout the league face off for the next test on the ice is now less than 24 hours away <laughs> <laughs> 